Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Senator Kane, I thank you. I, I appreciated your comments. Um, my concern is that the UN Charter is a treaty this country is party to. Under Article 6, it's the supreme law of the land. You say the president's missiles into Syria was illegal because he didn't come to Congress. I say there's no way in the world it could possibly have been legal even if he had come to Congress. And the same with every war of the past 17 years. I'd like you to explain to me how any of these wars can possibly be legal whether or not authorized by Congress. Sure. Oh, yeah, great question. I'm not going to be able to explain to you how any war could ever be illegal. That's a big question. But I am going to answer this is a really important point. Every war not only needs a domestic legal justification, so there has to be a domestic justification, either under our own declaration of war, or the, the U.S. sometimes Congress approves a treaty, like a NATO treaty that has a defense obligation. We will help defend you if something happens. So that's a congressional vote and sort of an unauthorization. But there also has to be an international justification. So we're in Iraq right now. Now that was, that was justified domestically by a 2002 authorization. Well, what's the international justification? The government of Iraq has asked us in. If a government asks you, the Abadi government asks, us, asks you to come in and help them defend themselves against ISIS, that is an international legal justification. But the challenge with Syria is even if the president came to Congress, and I actually asked this about Syrian missile strikes a year ago, the, the, the one-off missile strikes in April a year ago. I asked, what's the legal justification, what's the, the international justification, the domestic and international? They gave me this broad Article II justification for the strikes, but they wouldn't answer the international law question. So the point is, a good point, you have to find, and, and all the, the lawyers in the White House and the DOD agree with this, that this proposition, Secretary Mattis, Secretary of State, agree with this proposition. There has to be a domestic legal justification. There has to be an international legal justification. And you can find that international legal justification in many instances, but there are some where you can't.